Injection is another way to get materials inside of a tree. The idea with injection is to place the injection ports at different areas of the tree. Typically you want to measure the uh, diameters of anywhere from eight to ten trees in the area or the grove that you're going to inject. And this is to get a mean diameter so you can use that information in calculating how much of the substance you want to inject into the tree. We're going to uh, demonstrate a very simple injection process. You can buy uh, sophisticated equipment to do injections, sometimes under high pressure. This is just a very simple system that uh, practically anyone can do. Some of the components include the injection port, and you can buy these uh, from companies. Also, uh, the needles that are used to go uh, inside the port. Also, some very simple syringes and a drill with the proper drill bit and uh, the test substance. Another item you're going to need uh, for this particular type of injection system is you're going to need a hammer and you're going to need this tool which is used to set the injection peg. We always try to use some type of uh, bright colored paint to mark where we're going to place the injection pegs. Makes it much easier to find on these dark surfaces. And so I'm going to just <laughs> make a few of these. Okay, we're, in pla we're placing the uh, injection pegs in different locations. You want to probably put most of them along the base of the tree, but uh, because the test substance or the uh, product in general is concentrated, it doesn't move as well or as quickly um, as, an in as uh, another technique called infusion. And so we also place some of the injection up on the limbs in, the, in an effort to try to have some of the material up into the tree more quickly. Um, and really, injection uh, will depend on, on whether you use injection, will depend on the formulation of the material, uh, whether it's labeled for injection, and how well it works. It's real important when you drill that you have a smooth motion just in and out. And the reason you want to do that is you want that injection port to fit smoothly. If you're not doing it in one clean motion, then you may not have a good fit. Go ahead, Armando. Armando is now setting the injection ports and he has to tap them in, and he'll tap them in so they're just flush with the actual sapwood below the bark. And that's important so that we don't get leakage out in the bark. going to load the uh, substance into the syringe. Put a needle on it. Uncap it. I'm going to uh, inject into the first port. And we can usually get between 10 and 25 mils in each injection port.
So to wrap up with this simple injection method, one of the uh, advantages is you can have more than one person injecting the tree at the same time because you each have individual uh, devices. Um, also, it tends to go rather quickly, um, so you save some time and some labor. However, some of the disadvantages could be that depending on the substance you're trying to inject, it may or may not distribute uh, through and protect the uh, tree uh, as quickly as an infusion of dilute substance. So with the injection, it tends to be a point source, a hive concentration, and it, it dissipates slowly and may not dissipate covering the entire tree, and you may not get as good protection. It depends on the substance uh, and the formulation. So our research has shown that with laurel wilt, uh, infusion of a dilute substance, fungicide, with water um, moves into the tree more quickly, distributes in the tree more quickly, provides a longer lasting protection than injection. More information on injection uh, is available on our website and uh, also through publications on our websites.